Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to highlight some of the best Steam game deals that are live right now. These are new deals that just dropped. Really, these deals are more so a hangover from the summer sale. The deals that decided to stick around after the party had already ended. We do have some pretty good stuff, so uh, let's get into it. We have uh, some very notable Square Enix JRPGs. It looks like Square Enix is just... Uh, you know, running their deals a little bit longer, so that's always kind of nice, but we'll get to those in a little bit right off the top as they are celebrating the Sakura Jima update. Pal World is 25% off for $22.49. Uh, for a while, Pal World was settling in with a 10% off discount, but here you have it, $22.49, 25% off. I mean, it's a nice little discount. I know that you know, a lot of the rhetoric with Pal World, and I think this is totally unfounded, is people being like, oh my god, the game fell off, there's only 61,000 people playing the game, and that's how many people are playing the game as I'm recording this video, that's why I'm saying that number, um... It has fallen off so hard, there's not enough content, so on and so forth. It's another gaming flop, which is, like, obviously it's few and far between that people have that opinion, but if you have that opinion, you're just completely out of your mind, given that this is a game that isn't a live service game. I always talk about sustainability in games because so much of gaming these days is built on the live service model. You guys... Pal World is not built on the live service model. It's a $29.99 purchase, and then they've already gotten a ton of people's money. And guess what? A lot of people got a lot of hours of entertainment, but you cannot expect a game like this to keep people perpetually interested forever and ever. That's why this market is a little bit different than your live service market. A game like Pal World, it is not contingent upon people continually playing the game year-round. They already got your $30. The game's a gigantic success, and if you've yet to play it, $22.49 is probably going to be a game, uh, is going to get you a game that you end up putting a decent bit of time into. Now, survival games are just not my cup of tea. That's why I'm not really going to get into it. Um, like, yo, I put time into it, and it's fine. Like, it's enjoyable. I see why people really enjoy it. But, uh, you know, the survival aspect, crafting aspect, that's never been my wheelhouse and my style of gaming that I'm into. And that's totally fine. Different strokes for different folks. And some people love Pal World. And if you've yet to give it a shot, a nice little discount on that. Next up, we got the Dragon Ball franchise sale running right now. A lot of good deals available as a part of this. And hey, Dragon Ball The Breakers? Uh, I guess they're adding the GT... Um, what was his name? The... Vegeta, the, the, the baby Vegeta, baby Vegeta. They added that in Dragon Ball Breakers. I am totally forgetting about GT content. Nobody likes Dragon Ball GT. I kind of do. I think Super Saiyan 4 is badass, but I digress. Uh, Dragon Ball franchise sale right off the top. They're already promoting Sparking Zero, which if you're going to buy Sparking Zero, go check out Green Man Gaming. Go check out a lot of other or other friends. You can get that game a little bit cheaper, but DBZ Kakarot, 75% off for $14.99. Look, if you're looking to pick up Kakarot at this point, I would really be looking to pick up the Legendary Edition because Season Pass 2 alone goes for $30. It's on sale for $30. The Legendary Edition gets you the base game, which is valued at $15. It'll get you Season Pass 1, which is valued at $12.49, and Season Pass 2. If you were to buy all of that individually, it would end up being $57.50. Legendary Edition is $40, and DBZ Kakarot is a great game. A lot of the DLC isn't anything to really write home about, but there is some pretty cool stuff. The Bardock episode is DLC. The Trunks, the Future Trunks alternate timeline Trunks is DLC. 23rd World Tournament. And really, the conclusion to the game, Goku's Next Journey is DLC as well. and has a pretty cool fight at the end of that. So I would say pick up the Legendary Edition. Xenoverse 2 is also 50% off for $9.99. For some reason, Super Dragon Ball Heroes isn't on sale, but what can you do about that? You know, pretty good deals all around, and uh, Dragon Ball games, I feel like, have been relatively consistent. Like, Kakarot was great, Xenoverse people really enjoy, Fighters was great, and I think Sparking Zero is going to end up being fantastic, so uh, a lot of good stuff for Dragon Ball fans. Next up, let's go over the Square Enix deals. Nier Automata and Nier Replicant are both on sale. Nier Automata is the stronger game, and it is 60% off for $15.99. Automata is absolutely excellent. It's Platinum Games action gameplay done to perfection. It is fantastic. Soundtrack is great. Narrative, certainly a little bit confusing, but it comes together nicely. And for $16, a great pickup here. And then also, we have Nier Replicant. That is 60% off for $24. This is a upgraded release of the Nier title that came out back in 2010 on PS3 and 360. The prequel to Nier Automata 
Really well done game. Gameplay isn't as strong as Automata, but still fairly solid. Soundtrack is exceptional. Story's fairly good. For $24, I do think it's a good buy, and it's a Square Enix title, so you guys know how the game is played. These games do tend to hold up in price. Uh, next up, Final Fantasy 13, 60% off for $6.39. I loved Final Fantasy 13. I did a playthrough of this game last year, and um, had a great time with it. Yes, it is super linear, uh, but... Final Fantasy games are always quite a bit different from one another, and the linearity to me didn't push me away from FF13. Obviously, when you get to Chapter 11, the game does open up quite a bit, and really, the star of Final Fantasy 13 to me is the battle system. I love the Paradigm battle system. I just thought there was a lot of nuance and depth to it and how you want to tackle situations. I just thought it was really, really well done. I thought Lightning was a great character, even if the rest of the cast is... I don't know, the rest of the cast is fairly weak, but uh, Lightning's a great main character, and... For $6 and change, I do think it's a pretty good buy. Uh, so do check that out. Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remastered is also on sale. 60% off for $11.99. Look, that's the Final Fantasy game that's going to give you more of a traditional FF experience. Great turn-based battle system. Speaking of the battle, the battle theme is absolutely awesome. The story is really good, even if the voice acting is archaic. I mean, uh, archaic. Uh, Titus' uh, laugh is still... Ah, oh, one of the more interesting things in JRPG gaming history. I thought the Sphere Grid was really well done. Overall, just a really, really well done game. $12 for that is quite good. Uh, you know, definitely do check that out. And then we do have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic down to $3.49. We're never going to get the remake, so stop, uh, you know, even hoping for that. I don't think that is ever going to come, but that for $3.49. Classic experience, unfortunately, no controller support, so keep that in mind, but it is what it is. Dying Light 2 Reloaded Edition is 60% off for $24, fairly good deal there. That gets you Dying Light 2, as well as the Bloody Ties Story DLC, I think that's get, that gets lost a lot that you do get the story DLC for that. I really enjoyed Dying Light 2. Not as good as Dying Light 1. I imagine at this point most of you guys have Dying Light 1, so go check out Dying Light 2. I think it's a worthwhile game. A lot of content. The exploration and the traversal is great. The parkour is awesome. The platforming, I should say, is really well done. Combat isn't as good as Dying Light 1, but overall still enjoyed it. Oh, and also should say, narratively, starts off compelling for the first half. Totally goes off the rails in the second half, in my opinion. So... There you go with that, $24 on that. And then we have Rise of the Tomb Raider, $5.99. It's Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's great. I recommend the game ad nauseum, so just go check it out and thank me later if you have yet to play the Tomb Raider titles. Check out Tomb Raider 2013 as well, but ROTR is fantastic. That's going to do it for me. Links to all of these deals, as always, in the description box below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.